Hello world, it's me, Cloudy. I have been wanting to do this for a while now, and now I finally got the bravery to talk about it so that all of you can understand, so that anyone that follows me can understand and maybe their outlook on me might be slightly different. I'm here today to talk about my visual impairment. Cloudy has lived with retinopathy, retinal dystrophy and glaucoma all her life. Due to her prematurity, she experienced a severe retinal detachment, as a result of which, she had to undergo laser treatment. This treatment was believed to be helpful and give Cloudy an opportunity to save her eyesight. However, the treatment took a drastic turn, leaving Cloudy with permanent consequences. This one treatment, which could have saved her vision, instead turned Cloudy's life 100 degrees. As it appeared to be, when I was yet to come out into the world, I wasn't developing very well and due to that they had to take me out early. Due to me being taken out early, I experienced retinal detachment in both my eyes. What happened then is they had to transfer me to another hospital where I had to undergo a large number of treatments, a very large number of treatments. One of those treatments was the laser treatment which was supposed to have helped but unfortunately the laser treatment were horribly wrong and both my eyes were nearly burnt out altogether which was the practitioner's fault. After that I had to travel from hospital to hospital, uh, have an operation after operation and eventually they managed to save my right eye and I still have a little vision in that eye. My left eye, however, was burnt too severely and they were unable to do anything about it. Now, a lot of people say, you can still see. Even out of that one eye you can still see. So how are you classed as blind? Well, I am classed as blind because I'm not able to read and write. I'm not able to look after myself. I'm not able to recognize people. I'm not able to see well enough to know what's going on around me. So blindness, just like every other disability, has its levels. And I'm not fully blind, but I am severely blind. I have to admit though, it all could have been better if they had better quality practitioners at the time and the treatment that I received had gone correctly. Perhaps today I wouldn't be sitting here with glasses on, with no vision in one eye and little vision in the other, relying heavily on braille, relying on sound, relying on other 
assistive tools that are there to help and I do often feel like it's been taken from me like it wasn't the way it was meant to be I wasn't meant to be blind but they that treated me made me this way and I have to live with this for the rest of my life now in terms of me getting along with people it does make it very difficult because a people don't always understand how it's possible to be severely blind and not fully blind b the differences in communication so uh, I communicate in a tactile way whereas people are used to communicating visually via visual expressions and signs and gestures uh, see I sometimes look a bit stupid because I may not be aware of this and that and some of the things that people might think are straightforward I might not even have a clue of because they might be too visual for me and I'll be like what are you talking about it it does make it very difficult and one thing I can tell you all is if you are interacting with someone who experiences sight loss be it natural be it very tragic like mine be mindful and look after them and give them the love the help the respect and the dignity that they deserve I often find myself feeling like a different species, like I am a totally different type of life form, if you like. And that is because of the differences, first of all, of the differences, the way that I see things and the way that sighted people see things and secondly because of the lack of understanding from the sighted people and one thing I also want to say is people are often underestimating the significance of the impact that sight loss has on people's lives and the impact is physical, emotional, social and intellectual. It affects the way you develop, it affects the way you learn, it affects the way you feel about things and it affects the way you interact with people. And I often say this, sighted people can be ten times more blind than people who are actually blind because of their inability to understand their lack of awareness, their lack of willingness to learn and understand better and 
change the way they think and see things. It's really, really bad. And of course, people who know that their sight loss wasn't fully natural, that it could have been better, but it wasn't dealt with properly, will feel like it's been taken from them, will feel like it's been that whoever was dealing with them made them this way. And the question that comes to mind is, why did you do this to me? You could have improved my life and I could have been just like everybody else, but you turned my life 100 degrees. Why did you do this to me? You don't know where a blind person might walk past or where somebody who may look like they can see actually can see very little. They always expect to see glasses or a long cane or any other low vision aids to give you a visible clue that the person is blind because that is not always the case. Be mindful and remember don't be blind towards the blind. <laughs>